Good afternoon, Pete here from Cape Fear Motor Works. I'm here setting up my Curtis controller um, non HPVES uh, software and an AC50 motor. I was having some issues with it not spinning quickly, wires wanting to bounce around and doing all this weird stuff. So everything's supposed to be going in the direction it's supposed to go and ran into this issue uh, quite a few years ago setting setting this this setup up and um, and I had forgotten that uh, what I needed to do in the software configuration is to change the direction of the encoder and so today I I had gone through my old posts that I posted just to kind of see what what I had put <clears throat> and that was in fact the the solution to the issue that I was having and so I went ahead and uh, reversed that and everything started working properly so it's just a basic setup it's nothing not a specific configuration or anything like that it's just a basic setup so we'll go through the configuration for Curtis controllers um, I just needed to make sure I had every, base, the basics set and ready to go before we went to this next step and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my main switch which is right here turn that on and let's see here so main contactor throttle um, basic wire harness going in um, got everything connected to the computer talking to the computer I have my my key switch um, solenoid here and it's a 12 volt solenoid um, I need to put one on that has the economizer because this one definitely gets hot I know they do get hot and I don't like that but that is the beast and then here I have my on off pull switch here this is an old uh, boat switch for turning on and off on your boat um, these these push buttons are not being used at the moment but hopefully they will be in the future for forward reverse um, all that good stuff uh, this this particular motor is going to go into my 1983 Vanagon single cab and it will be an initial install to go into the single cab and then once I get my Kelly controller the Kelly controller is going to be a 144 volt system at a thousand amps this one is 96 volts or up to 130 volts max absolute maximum you can't go over that or the controller will shut down and 650 amps so um, this one will do good um, it'll make that car scoot along reasonably well um, I'm not expecting a, a, a race car from it I just want a good strong um, little motor for that for that vehicle it's not that heavy of a vehicle <clears throat> It is the truck version, not the not the passenger version. Uh, single cab, so mostly truck bed. Yeah. So here, anyway, um, we want to show you. So I got my main my main uh, switch turned on, and pull my thing out. Everything clicked and started. So basically, it's running up here. Not sure if you can see it or not. But it's got a yellow light that's blinking and the yellow light blinking means everything is okay there there are no faults 
um, happening at this point. And um, we'll just double check diagnostics and there are zero, zero errors um, in the system. Um, I did have an error history of uh, throttle high, uh, HPD sequencing fault, which was basically setting my dead band, um, which fixed that, and then a parameter change fault, and those were resolved. So we're just going to get rid of that history there because I don't need that anymore. And um, we got a big long list of stuff. This motor is set up in torque mode, not speed mode, and torque mode is the one I'm going to use for driving, not speed mode. And um, still have not set up any uh, regen or anything like that. We're just going straight basic configuration. So throttle, here we go. That's 5,500 RPM. Is what that was. What that run was. So it will go. You can ease into it. Or you can kind of kind of get a good throttle to it, and that's where we're at. And now I need to do the configuration testing. And once we're done with that, um, then we're good to um, start getting all the pieces and parts to put this into the vehicle and get this going, and also get this vehicle road registered as an electric vehicle. And while I'm while I'm while I'm waiting for my Curtis controller, I just picked up also an AC51, which is also designed for 144 volt system. Um, this one will do 144 volts, but the AC51 was designed for the the 144 volt system, and um, and the Kelly controller will be that plus will have more amperage than what the Curtis controller and I will probably limit the current to probably about 800 amps versus a thousand. Um, I don't think I'm going to need that much for that purpose and I don't want to overstress the controller either so that's where we're at. So at the moment <clears throat> that's about all I can say. Take a quick look at the uh, parameters um, so let me move my camera over. So I have a printout. Um, so my v VCL is is uh, turned off. Uh, anyway. Anyway, I have all that turned off. So, a bit of flickering here. So, you have current limits. So, regen current is at 80. Brake current is 30, parking brake current limit 39. I'll have to look into that one. Um, special speed settings, normal mode 6,250 RPM, but I'm not in special speed settings. Uh, control mode is two, which is torque mode here. Yeah, speed limiter I have at 5200, so that's 
what you what you saw earlier 5200 I may have said 5500 this 5200 um, response acceleration rate five seconds so I got all, all these different things I can change um, restraint forward 50% restraint back 50% so I'll need to look into to that um, current limits right just standard current limits uh, drive current limits 100% um, so I can go all the way up to uh, 650 amps um, emergency current blah 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 all that all that stuff there um, throttle so I'm using a type 2 throttle um, so anyway uh, <clears throat> look in, I'll look in the fine details my VCL is off so I'm not into that mode at all VCL braking is off so I'm not into that drivers main contactor here input voltage 85 percent holding voltage 30 and so my main contactor is not getting hot at all and it's just sitting happy as a clam um, battery voltage Compensated interlock type 2, open delay 15 seconds. So there's a lot of little, lot of little things. Uh, motor, uh, maximum, typical maximum 6500 RPM. 6500 RPM is just, just jamming along pretty good. Um, swap encoder direction, on. When I turn it off, it does weird things. So, anyway, um, swap two phases I don't need. Encoder steps is 64, which is correct. Um, hydraulics, we're not using any hydraulics. Um, battery, 96 volt, nominal. Um, so right now we are at, battery is at 105 volts. And um, six or seven amps right now, just a 0.7 kilowatts uh, under no load. So, anyway, lots of goodies. So, system information this is an older controller, um, not the SE version or any of that kind of stuff. So, real quick we're gonna throw this over here so if you are having issues with your machine cogging so we're going to go to parameters. We're going to go to um, swap encoder direction. We're going to turn that off. So turned off. Now we turn it back on again. There's no no errors in this. This is what it does. Now watch the cables and watch the motor.
So it's basically trying to run forward even, and it's, but it's telling it to go backwards, and I'm telling it to go forwards. So we're gonna switch that, turn it off, turn it back on. Nice and smooth. And there you have it, that's for today. Um, we'll continue with this and get this thing going and we'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.